Hey crafters! Today I'm going to be opening the Post Stitch Yarn Knit subscription box. This is going to be the subscription for May and the middle option that they offer. So let's go ahead and check it out. But just a heads up, this will spoil what's in the package by watching this video. And some props to Post Stitch. With me moving all the time all over the place, I just sent a really quick email with a new address and they got it to me, so I'm not gonna miss out on my subscriptions wherever I travel to. So let's go ahead and check out what they sent for me. How's it looking there? You able to see? Okay. Oh, pretty! Wow! Vibrant! Obviously, I want to check this yarn out. Whoa, this is a very, very neon pink. I wonder if it's tied to Mother's Day. Like pink, floral, neon. Cool! So, a super wash merino. Sorry, I'm getting so excited. Perennial, perennial yarns, 60% superwash merino, 25% alpaca, 15% nylon. It is 497 yards, 100 grams, 454 meters. Super squishy. A weight of one, it recommends US one to three size needles, or if you're gonna crochet with this, a B through a D. Wow, made in Peru, cool. And this color is called Neon Coral. You more of an up close view. It's gorgeous. Super, super pretty. That's great. Smells like yarn. <laughs> um, the goodies. I'm, I'm sorry, I took it out so quick. Here's all the little goodies that come in the bag. We'll just check these out one by one. Um, something that already fell out and I put it back in, some stitch markers. They're gold stitch markers. Two, four, six, eight, and a teeny tiny little bag. I like that this subscription box usually every other month sends stitch markers. I lose mine I'm like crazy, so I love that I have more now. Cool. Got another one, Heidi and Lena. Another little stitch marker, but this one has like a little purplish lavender bead in it. And their website is HeidiAndElena.com. Oh, cool. I always, always need lots of these to measure when I'm trying to do a gauge swatch. I'm really bad at doing gauge swatches. I always want to jump right into my project and I have to remind myself to use a gauge. I'm actually going to be knitting up something, maybe even tonight or tomorrow morning, and I was just gonna count it and figure it out on my own, so I'm glad I have one of these. But the coolest thing about this, so it has information on both sides. It looks really interesting. So crochet hook conversion chart of the US metric UK sizes and the same for knitting needle conversion chart. Metric, US, UK sizes. Some good information. And then at the bottom, it talks about your different weights of yarn, what the type of weight would be called, your knit gauge range of how many stitches you should have per four inches in stock net, and a recommended needle size. That's really cool. That's a lot of information on here. And it feels like, um, a heavy, sturdy plastic. It is uh, slightly bendable, but not metal, um, not a hard plastic. And of course, when I uh, always lose my needles, I can quickly figure it out based on this needle gauge. That's really cool. I like this because this is something that I'll keep using. I do have the old school, like Susan Bates metal one, and I have one and always going all over the place. It, so many different things of knitting, I have no idea where it ends up. So having another one, I will get a lot of use out of this. So I'm really, really happy about this. 
our cards, our little info cards. So for May this year, they're doing these little calendar pictures. I think they're adorable. Um, I would put it on my fridge, but I told you guys, the info card that they put out every month, I actually put in a recipe box and I flip through like their recipes. I keep all of my little cards because it has some really good information on it. So it talks about our yarn that we received and it gives some information about the pattern, which I was just so excited about the yarn. I didn't even, <laughs> haven't even looked at the pattern yet. Um, it tells you what is in the three different sizes uh, the three different packages that you could get. I go with the middle package because the only difference between the middle and the big package is that the big one also includes the knitting needles that you would use for that project, for the yarn and the, um, the pattern that they send you. And I have a large selection of needer, needles. So that one really doesn't fit well for me. I like getting the pattern, the notions, and the yarn, so middle is perfect. If you got the light one, which is also an option, and it's really affordable month to month, that just has kind of the little notions in it. But the really cool thing that this has is it has alternate patterns. So if I wasn't feeling what I got a pattern for in this box, it gives me some Ravelry information so I can go out and find another one that would perfectly fit this yarn. Oh, and a 15% off coupon. Cool, take 15% off items in our online store. I think though you have to use that only if you have a subscription, but I'll find some codes, put it down below in the description if you're interested that you could use. So, really cool card. I'm making sure I'm not forgetting any. And there's a second card in here. Wow, Stitch Scoop, dishing out the day's coolest knitting news. So it looks like this is a daily newsletter for knitters and yarn, really awesome stuff. So it says discover the latest knitting news events, trends, products, patterns, so on and so on. You sign up at stitchscoop.com. If anyone is interested, stitchscoop.com. And my pattern looks really, really pretty. Check it out. Looks like a little shawl, wrap, scarf. Pretty flexible, you can make it what you want. Pompa. It says, it lists all these suggested yarns. We have a really good yarn. The note, it is a scarf, a breeze of a scarf with a strong pattern to accent any simple outfit or neckline. With more open work than solid fabric, this all weather scarf makes great use of a single skein of luxury yarn and is a perfect solution for a quick gift project. Cool. I didn't show it that well. Here is another picture, hopefully more up close of what the pattern looks like. It always comes in these plastic protectors, which I really like. Um, I just kind of keep all my stuff together in the bag as I'm working on it, but I am gonna be tra transitioning to putting all the patterns in a bin, like a large, thick bin, and maybe trying to put everything in here. Because I have so many projects, it's all over. The, the pattern that they send you is a thick paper printout, so it's not just Print it out on your computer, quick show. <laughs> it gives you the uh, written instructions as well as a chart, if you prefer the chart. Looks really great. Cool. I'm just double checking, because sometimes if it's a pattern on Ravelry, it'll give you the free Ravelry download code. But this just talks about it is a knit spot pattern. So if you go to knitspot.com slash knitting underscore pattern, it's one of their patterns that they have. Looks really cool. I'm excited. Now, this pattern looks really, really pretty and they have it in a dark burgundy. It's gonna look pretty interesting with this light neon bold, bold pink, but I think it's really fitting for spring. So I'm excited. And based on the pattern, there's a few stitches I'm gonna have to look up, but most of it's pretty easy. It talks about purling, slip slit knit, yarn over, knit two together. 
um, CTRL and DBL. I will have to double check because it has been a long time. A long time. CTRL, DBL. Slip two stitches knit wise together, knit one, then pass the second stitch over the stitch just worked. Oh, for some reason, I thought that was um, called another stitch. Anyways, I'm already rambling on, so it's time for me to get going. But this is the May post stitch box, and this is everything that is in <laughs> everything that is inside of it. So I'll have a link down below if you want to check out any of the information. I'll link the yarn and some of these other companies, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, crafters.